Welcome students in this class we will be learning how to handle a special type of differential equation which goes by the name Riccati. Now foremost let us have a brief review of whatever we have done. Now we started off learning what is called as the standard ordinary differential equation. The form is dy over dx positive p times y is equal to q, where p comma q are functions of x, right? So this is the first type we studied. Now we also got exposed to what is called as the Bernoulli's ODE. Now the form of this Bernoulli ODE was dy over dx positive p times y is equal to q times y raised to the power of n. And the values of n was higher than 1. So in other words, the n cannot take the value 0 or 1. So I have that in mind. So this is Bernoulli's. Now, having studied the Bernoulli, now there is a special type, the third type, which is called as Riccati ODE. Now, the form is dy over dx positive p times y is equal to q times y squared positive r, where p comma q comma r are functions of x. Now, the same thing goes here p comma q are functions of x, right? So we are looking to solve the differential equation of this type. And why is it called Riccati's equation? Because this method is originated by the person's name. Probably many are involved in its uh, outcome we don't know so we know how to solve it so whoever has given us this great method we respect them and we give them our gratitude of thankfulness so i will mention this so let me just start off the riccati equation when I say equation, it's a differential equation, right? So let me state that the Riccati differential equation is of the form dy over dx is equal to, you can either write p of x or simply py q times y squared plus r. So this is the standard form that we would be using. Of course, you can state here p comma q comma r r functions of x. So always remember this is the pattern or this is the form we will be comparing the any given equation to. Now suppose we are given say I'm giving you an example say for example dy over dx is equal to say some x squared y positive some x cubed y squared positive sum x to the power of 4. Now this is a Riccati differential equation and clearly our p of x is x squared and q of x is x to the power of 3 and our r of x is equal to x to the power of 4. So it's just an illustration, right? So now we have to look into the method to apply this method of obtaining the solution. How do we obtain the solution? Foremost, this is the step we will be following. Step 1, y1 is given, right? y1 is given to be the particular solution. This is the term we will use. Now, when this happens, we follow the step two. What is step two? We take, put y to be as v plus y1. Some v, so v is also a function, some function of x. 
right? So I will show you how to do this. But for now, just take the steps. Put y is equal to v positive y1 in the given question. In the given question. Next, step number three is simplify. Simplify. And it, you can either say simplify or you reduce. The system will get reduced to Bernoulli type. Okay, Bernoulli's type of ODE from where the system is solvable. System is solved. That's all. Step 1, step 2, step 3. I know it is a little bit confusing. It might be a little bit confusing because of the nature of the type, the Cartier equation type. But as I always mention, examples will clear any element of doubt. So let's do some examples. Students were given this question. Solve the following Riccati equation given that dy over dx is equal to negative 1 over x times y positive y squared followed by a negative 1 over x squared given that y1 is equal to 1 over x is a solution. Now I'm going to show you that it is indeed that y1 is equal to 1 over x is a solution for this particular equation. But this is not part of the solution to this question. This is just for your understanding. Now y1 is equal to 1 over x. So I'm, let me use the space here. Right. So dy1 over dx is equal to negative 1 over x squared. Right. So I'm going to rewrite this as dy1 divided by dx is equal to negative 1 over x times y1 positive y1 squared negative 1 over x squared which is equal to y1 is 1 over x so it's going to be 1 over x times 1 over x positive 1 over x it's uh, raised to the power of 2 so it's going to be 1 over x squared followed by negative 1 over x squared so positive 1 over x squared negative 1 over x squared gets cancelled giving me on the right hand side negative 1 over x squared on the left hand side dy1 over x but what is dy1 over x negative 1 over x squared so clearly left hand side is equal to right hand side which means that y1 is equal to 1 over x is a solution indeed so that is just for your understanding now according to our step just let us go to the way in which we need to solve if y1 is given to be a solution, then we take y to be equal to v positive y1. So this is the start of the solution. The solution is let y be equal to v positive y1. Right? Now what we are going to do from here, we will actually, now uh, since y1 is 1 over x, this is nothing but v positive 1 over x. So therefore we got y to be equal to v positive 1 over x. Now if I were to differentiate both sides, differentiating with respect to x both sides, we need to do that, right? Because we got dy over dx. This is going to be dy over dx is equal to differential of v. v is some function of x. So it's going to be v dash positive. Now 1 over x differentiation is going to give me negative 1 over x squared. So this is for dy over dx. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this as 1 using this in 1 we rewrite okay we rewrite 1 as in place of dy over dx I'm going to substitute this so it's going to be v dash negative 1 over x squared is equal to negative 1 over x in place of y I am going to substitute v positive 1 over x that's what I am going to do so followed by v positive 1 over x raised to the power of 2 and then negative 1 over x squared now clearly negative 1 over x squared negative 1 over x squared can be cancelled so I get v1 is equal to now this can be simplified by distributive property. So take out the parenthesis. So it's going to be v over x with a negative sign. Negative 1 over x squared. I expand this. I get v squared positive 2 times v over x positive 1 over x squared. Negative 1 over x squared positive 1 over x squared can be cancelled. So I get I get 
uh, v over x with a negative sign and 2v over x so if I were to take v over x out this is negative 1 positive 2 and positive v squared and on the left side I got uh, v dash so negative 1 positive 2 this can be rewritten as v dash is equal to v over x positive v squared now what I'm going to do I'm going to move this guy to the left hand side so I get v dash negative v over v over x is equal to v squared now since v is a function of x I can rewrite this as dv over dx negative 1 over x times v is equal to v squared now is this similar or uh, to what we have studied yes this is v squared on the right hand side so this is nothing but this is Bernoulli's equation Bernoulli Bernoulli's ODE which can be solved I can easily solve this now how do I solve it I divide by v squared so when I divide by v squared this is going to be v raised to the power of negative 2 dv over dx negative 1 over x I get a v here but I want to write the v as v power minus 1 which is equal to 1 fair enough now we are going to be making some substitution so we need to go to a new space a new page so we are on a new beautiful page and we got v raised to the power of negative 2 dv over dx negative 1 over x times v power negative 1 is equal to 1 so this is what we've got probably we can name it as 2 now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take let v raised to the power of negative 1 be equal to some z I differentiate I get v power minus 2 dv over dx is equal to dz over dx so I'm going to use this right so therefore I can rewrite to in place of v raised to the power of negative 2 dv over dx I'm going to substitute dz over dx negative 1 over x in place of v power minus 1 it's going to be z is equal to 1 so this is a beautiful system we have got because when you differentiate v power minus 1 we will have a negative sign here so that is important so if you miss a negative sign it would be problematic so we can rewrite this as uh, dz over dx is followed by a positive 1 over x times z is equal to negative 1 now what is this this is nothing but a linear differential equation right with the integrating factor is e raised to the power of integral p dx which is equal to e raised to the power of integral my p is 1 over x times dx which is equal to e raised to the power of integral dx over x which has nothing but e raised to the power of ln x e and ln gets cancelled giving me x so consider now integral q times e raised to the power of integral p dx times dx positive c right that's going to be there but we can add it at the later stage so it's going to be integral negative 1 times x times dx which is negative x times dx which is negative x squared over 2 positive arbitrary constant c so therefore if we are going to be writing this this is in z so the solution so the solution is going to be z times x is equal to negative x squared over 2 positive c right this is what we've got but my z is v power minus 1 so we have to take care of that so we know that I, I want to state that we know that v power negative 1 is equal to z so therefore if I'm going to use this this is going to be hence we now have in place of z it's going to be v raised to the power of negative 1 times x is equal to negative x squared over 2 positive c I can move this x down so that would mean I get v power minus 1 is equal to negative x over 2 because x is coming down positive c over x so now what we can do is take an LCM of 2 times x 
So this is going to be negative x squared positive x and x cancel cancel so this is going to be 2c so I can rewrite this as 2c negative x squared divided by 2x so this is my v raised to the power of negative 1 now if v raised to the power of negative 1 is this so what would be v so therefore my v is just revert everything so this is going to be 2x over 2 times c negative x squared so I can rewrite this as 2x over now 2c is a constant so I'm going to replace it as some capital C negative x squared so this is my v but we know that but we started off what did we started off we started off by assuming y is equal to v positive 1 over x okay so this would mean in place of v I would substitute 2x over c negative x squared positive 1 over x which is the required solution to the Riccati equation right so we have achieved this solution so we will move on to the next question students students we are given this question y dash positive 1 over x times y negative 1 over x cubed times y squared is equal to 2x this is a Riccati differential equation and it is given that y1 is equal to x squared is a particular solution and we are expected to solve this now to start off I would like to show it to you that y1 is equal to x squared is indeed a solution for this now clearly y 1 dash is equal to 2 times x so I can rewrite this as y 1 dash this is not part of the solution but this is just for your understanding so that has to be followed by positive y 1 over x negative y 1 squared over x to the power of 3 is equal to 2 times x now y 1 dash is 2x y1 is x squared this has to be divided by x followed by y1 is x squared that has to be raised to the power of 2 so it's going to be 4 here divided by x cubed this has to produce 2x so now I can just cancel x and x I can cancel this now I got an x here and I got an x here so both of them they get cancelled so I get a 2x on the right uh, on the left and 2x on the right so clearly y1 is equal to x squared is a solution indeed so this is just to show you that fact now step one so let us start the solution so what we are going to do is we are going to take y to be equal to some v positive y1 now why am I taking this you might be asking why are you taking this now this is a guest solution which has been arrived over years of hard work by great people that's the best answer I can give you so having mentioned that this can be rewritten as v positive in place of y1 I'm going to say x squared so therefore I got y to be equal to v positive x squared now from here y dash is going to be v dash positive 2 times x so if I were to take this as 1 using this I can rewrite 1 to be as the following so in place of y dash this is going to come in so this is going to be v dash positive 2 times x and positive my y is v positive x squared divided by x that's fine negative my y is v positive x squared that has to be raised to the power of 2 divided by x to the power of 3 is equal to 2x so we need to do some simplification over here so I can rewrite this as v dash positive 2 times x positive v over x positive x squared over x will give me x and this one I need to expand this so this is going to give me v squared positive 2 times v times x squared positive x to the power of 4 this entire thing has to be divided by x cubed x cubed x cubed this is equal to 2 times x 
So I can rewrite this further as v dash positive 2 times x positive v over x positive x negative v squared over x cubed negative 2 times v I can cancel uh, x squared and x so I get a x here so followed by negative x is equal to 2 times x so negative x positive x can be cancelled and of course uh, 2x and 2x can be cancelled so I got a quantity of this fashion so what I'm going to do I, I want to push this guy to this right hand side so I get a v squared over x cubed so that is fair enough and then I want to add these two things so if I want to add these two things I will get a negative v over x that is fair enough followed by v dash so I've taken care of all these quantities now I would like to rewrite this by using the space so it's going to be dv over dx negative 1 over x times v is equal to v squared over x to the power of 3 this is what we have got now what I want to do is I will add to get rid of this uh, v squared because this is uh, I want to achieve in fact uh, the linear differential type because this is a Bernoulli type okay from Bernoulli we have to convert this into linear differential equation so to achieve that so that I can extract integrating factor so I'm going to divide by v squared throughout so if I do that I get v raised to the power of negative 2 times dv over dx this is uh, v raised to the power of negative 1 divided by x is equal to 1 over x to the power of 3 fair enough so now let us make the substitution now let me say let z be equal to v raised to the power of negative 1 and I differentiate this dz over dx is equal to negative because of uh, the differentiation of v raised to the power of negative 1 so this is going to give me negative followed by v raised to the power of negative 2 dv over dx so instead of this I would be substituting uh, this so therefore probably I can write it down here so v raised to the power of negative 2 dv over dx is equal to negative dz over dx so if I were to take this as 2 therefore I can rewrite 2 as negative dz over dx followed by negative sign b power minus 1 is z over x is equal to 1 over x to the power of 3 I can move the negative sign to the other side so this is going to be dz over dx positive z over x is equal to negative 1 over x to the power x to the power of 3 so this is what I've got so now the important property is to find the integrating factor so therefore integrating factor is e raised to the power of integral p dx so what is the coefficient of z it's 1 over x so substitute that let me do that here which is equal to e raised to the power of integral dx over x which is equal to e raised to the power of ln x which is equal to x so my integrating factor is achieved so therefore consider integrating q times e raised to the power of integral p dx times dx which is integral dx uh, in fact I should have started with writing negative 1 over x to the power of 3 times x times dx so that this is equal to negative x to the power of negative 2 times dx right I can easily cancel this x with the with the x present there so that would leave me with x squared so I can push it up to the numerator so that's going to be negative x to the power of negative 2 positive 1 divided by negative 2 power negative 2 positive 1 which can be rewritten as negative x power negative 1 divided by negative 1 I can push this negative negative will become positive so this is going to be 1 over x positive arbitrary constant c this is for q now the solution so let me use uh, this space over here for the time being so we started with z right so the solution is going to be z times integrating factor is x is equal to the output that we have got here is 1 over x positive c I want only 
uh, if I want to get rid of this x, I can push it down. So I get z is equal to 1 over x squared positive c over x. If I want to take the LCM as x squared, I can take the LCM as x squared. There's no harm in that. So if x squared is the LCM, this is going to give me 1 positive c times x. This is z. But what is z? We have taken z to be a v negative 1, v raised to the power of negative 1. So we replace that. So this is going to be v raised to the power of negative 1 is equal to 1 positive cx over x squared. So this is v raised to the power of negative 1. So therefore v will be x squared divided by 1 positive c times x. So this is for v. But we started with this thing. Okay, so probably I will replace this as 1 prime. So I need to take the value of v and substitute in 1 prime to get the solution. Therefore, the solution, I'm writing it down here. The solution is y, let me show that to you, y is equal to x squared positive 1 positive cx positive x squared. So this is the solution probably I can box this using a red. So this is the complete solution for this question students. We will move on to the next question. Students we are given this question y dash positive 2 times xy is equal to 1 positive x squared positive y squared given that y1 is equal to x is a solution. Now we will start off with the quest to obtain the solution. So what I will do is since y1 is equal to x is the solution given, I'm going to take y to be equal to v positive y1 and this would imply that y is equal to v positive x. So if you were to differentiate this, differentiating with respect to x both sides, will give me so this is going to be y dash is equal to v dash positive differential of x is 1 so if I were to take this as 1 therefore 1 can be rewritten as in place of y dash I will substitute v dash positive 1 positive 2 times x in place of y I'll substitute v positive x is equal to 1 positive x squared in place of y. I'll substitute v positive x raised to the power of 2. I expand this, I get v dash positive 1 positive 2 times x v positive 2 x squared is equal to 1 positive x squared positive v squared positive 2 x v positive x squared. I add x squared with x squared and then I rewrite this as 1 positive v squared positive 2 x v positive 2 times x squared. On the left I got a v dash positive 1 positive 2xv positive 2x squared. Now clearly 2x squared 2x squared 2xv 2xv can be cancelled and then I get a plus 1 and a plus 1. They also can be cancelled. So I get v dash is equal to v squared. This is what I get. Now I am going to write v dash as dv over dx and this is equal to v squared. Now this is variable separable, right? So this can be rewritten as dv over v squared is equal to dx and integrating both sides, this can be rewritten as v raised to the power of negative 2 times dv is equal to integral dx. So if I were to integrate this, this is v raised to the power of negative 2 positive 1 divided by negative 2 positive 1 is equal to x. Of course, there's arbitrary constant c. I'm going to use this space. So v power minus 1 divided by minus 1 is equal to x positive c. If I were to bring this v power minus 1 down, this is going to be negative 1 over v is equal to x positive c. But I can have to, in other words, I need to get the value of v, right, not 1 over v. So if I were to multiply by v, 
both sides, I would get negative 1 is equal to V times of X positive C. So from here, V is 1 over X positive C with a negative sign. So I got the value of V. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this value of V and substitute it here. So if I were to take this as 2, therefore 2 can be rewritten as y is equal to negative 1 over x positive c positive x is the required solution. So this is a simple question and it's been solved beautifully. We move on to the next illustration. Students, we are expected to solve the Riccati equation given that y dash is equal to y squared negative of 2x negative 1 of y positive x squared negative x positive 1 given that y1 is equal to x. So to start off with the solution, we've been given y1 is equal to x is the solution. So I'm going to just take let y to be equal to v positive y1. So this would mean my y is equal to v positive x. So I'm going to be differentiating both sides both sides with respect to x. So this would give me y dash is equal to v dash positive differentiation of x is going to give me 1. So if I were to take this as 1 therefore 1 can be rewritten. In place of y dash I would be substituting v dash positive 1 in place of y, it's going to be v positive x. The degree is 2, so place that, followed by 2x negative 1 times y is v positive x. Positive x squared negative x positive 1. So we will expand this. This is v squared positive 2 times x v positive x squared negative. I want to use distributive law here. So this is going to be 2 times x v positive 2 times x squared negative v negative x positive x squared negative x positive 1 this is v squared positive 2 times x v positive x squared and removing the parenthesis so this is going to be negative 2 times x v negative 2 times x squared positive v positive x positive x squared negative x positive 1 on the left it's v dash positive 1 so let us see what we can get rid of so clearly we can see that negative 2x squared positive x squared positive x squared can be cancelled positive x negative x can be cancelled positive 1 positive 1 can be cancelled so we got positive 2xv negative 2xv this is also cancelled so I get a v squared and then I got a v and then I got a v dash. So now what we can do is I'm going to bring this v to this end. So let me make sure that I've got rid of everything. So this is going to be v dash negative v is equal to v squared. So I'm going to rewrite v dash as dv over dx negative v is equal to v squared. So this is Bernoulli type. So I will be dividing by v squared both sides. So when I do that, I would get v power minus 2 dv over dx negative v power negative 1 is equal to 1. So now what I wish to do is I would like to take v power minus 1 is equal to z. If I differentiate this, this is going to be negative v raised to the power of minus 2 dv over dx is equal to dz over dx. I need only positive sides so v power minus 2 dv over dx is equal to negative dz over dx. So this is the substitution that would go here. So if I were to take this as 2 therefore I can rewrite 2 as in place of this I get negative dz over dx followed by a negative sign v power minus 1 is z is equal to 1. I want to multiply by negative 1 throughout so that I can have a positive. So this is going to be dz over dx positive z is equal to negative 1. So the coefficient, so therefore the integrating factor is e raised to the power of integral p dx. My p is 1, so this is e raised to the power of integral dx which is nothing but e raised to the power of ax. 
So this is what I've got. So therefore, integral q times e raised to the power of integral p dx dx is equal to integral. My q is negative one times e raised to the power of x times dx is negative e raised to the power of x times dx, which is e raised to the power of x positive c. So therefore, if you are going to write the solution, the solution is z times my integrating factor, which is e raised to the power of x, is equal to negative e raised to the power of x positive c. I need only z, so my z is negative e power x divided by e power x positive c times e raised to the power of x. This can be cancelled, giving me negative one positive. I'm going to write this as c times e raised to the power of negative x is equal to z, but my z is b power minus one, right? So if we were to substitute here, so this is going to be b power minus one is equal to negative one positive c times e raised to the power of negative x. So I need my v. So this is one over v is equal to negative one positive c times e raised to the power of negative x. So if I were to extract only v. I will have to push everything down. So this is going to be, if I were to take, club this as one component, so it's going to be 1 over negative 1 positive c times e raised to the power of negative x. This is going to be equal to my v. Right? So I need to use this and substitute it here. So if I were to take it as say some 1 prime, 1 dash. So let me just use this space here. So therefore, Therefore, my one dash, which I started as y is equal to v positive x. In fact, uh, in, I I am going to take this as one dash, right? So let me just show it to you. This should be my one prime. I'm going to take this as my one prime. So therefore, my one prime, which is y is equal to v positive x, can be rewritten as is now in place of v. I'm going to substitute this. So uh, it's going to be y is equal to 1 over c times e raised to the power of negative x, negative 1, positive x. So this is, this is going to be my solution. Uh, just a quick note here. If you're not happy with this, this could be rewritten as 1 over. Now e power minus x can be written as c over e raised to the power of x, negative 1. Of course, this follows. Now, if we were to take the LCM as e power x, this is going to be 1 over c negative e power x divided by e power x positive x. So, if we were to flip this, this is going to be e raised to the power of x divided by c negative e raised to the power of x positive x, which is equal to y. So, this would be my general solution. Right? So, you can either stop here or you can stop here depending on the requirement. Thank you, students. I hope you enjoyed today's class. This completes our study on Riccati's differential equation.